Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. Today we're going to talk about a third of the music. We know that our music is divided up into frequency categories, if you will. So we have three main groups, lows, mids, and highs. That's what we have. Most of the time I hear people focusing on just this. They've kind of given up on the low end. I get it. You know, boxes filled with building insulation won't cut it. People buy them, get calls all the time. And it just doesn't work. They go low enough, but they don't get enough. And if you're not getting enough, what good is it to go low enough? See, because plus 12, plus 13, plus 14 dB peaks, you got to get a lot because you don't have that much room inside your room. And low frequency management takes 12, 13, 14 inches of space. So if you're going to be willing to give up the space, you got to have the horsepower, right? And only diaphragmatic will do that. People focus on the mid, mids and highs all the time, not lows. Like I said, they've given up on the low frequencies because they haven't found a treatment methodology that works. But you realize that the low frequencies contribute a third of what you're hearing. And you've given up on it. You just accept that it's mud and soup. You accept the low resolution. You accept a lot of things. Because most people don't know how to fix it. Well, we do. We know how to fix it. I've made it a journey for the last 20 years to fix it. Because people say, well, how did you come up with these ideas? Well, I was a real estate developer. And I built a lot of office buildings. A lot of residential office shopping centers. And our office buildings were class A. So they had to be very, very quiet. So I learned a lot about noise transmission. I learned what worked and what didn't. And 90% of the stuff on the internet. It's nonsense. It doesn't work. I built over 400 rooms and measured them, both for noise and treatment. So I understand what's going on. And when you compare reality with what you see on the internet, oh my God, it's night and day. So low frequencies are really important because they provide the foundation to our mids and highs. A lot of people say in a band, the drummer, you know, he's the foundation. He drives but it's really the bass player, if you think about it. It's really the bass player that drives the whole group. So you want to get the lows right. Why wouldn't you want the same low frequency resolution maybe as you get with your mids and highs? Don't give up. We can fix it for you. There's plenty of ways we can do that. You can't position yourself out of low frequency issues. I get so tired of hearing this. Even from people who have been in the business for years say the same thing. Well, just move a little bit over here and you won't hear it. No, you can't do that because we find room modes oscillate throughout the room, floor to ceiling, sidewall to sidewall, front to rear, and they're every 36 to every 48 inches. So what are you going to, how are you going to get away from all that? You might move out of one, but you'll move into the neighborhood of the other. So it's a little bit ridiculous, you know, like most of this stuff sometimes. You got to start with the proper room ratios. Pick a room that has a good width, height, and length footprint. Now think about what you're doing here. You have three variables, three dimensions that all must work together mathematically to do two things. Produce less room modes and less coincidentals. Coincidentals are those modes that are even greater than axials. So when we look at building new rooms, the first thing I look at the dimensions is the coincidentals. Is this room coincidental free? Because that's a requirement for high resolution. We're gonna have modes, we can treat those, but the coincidentals, I saw a room the other day with six coincidentals. Those can be treated, but we gotta increase the amount of treatment in that room area, 25, 30 points. And that can be problematic for budgets and space and all kinds of issues. You gotta treat all three sound fields in a room. Remember what those are? Floor, ceiling, sidewall, sidewall, front to rear. That's the way it works. There's three rooms within your room. And that's what you have to focus on. You're going to need 12 inches of treatment space to go after 40 cycles. That's just the way it is right now. We have the world's most powerful technology and we need 12 inches. So these companies that claim they're going to do it in four and two, just ask churches how that works. Because they buy into that. They buy in and, well, let's put these panels up. Talk to a church that has spent $30,000 on panels that are one inch thick. 
And I said, okay, why are you calling me? Well, it doesn't work. It can't work. It's a one inch thick panel can't get enough of that 125 to 500 cycle region, which is where reverb lives. And people don't know, I get it. They're not informed. They're ignorant about physics and they get taken all the time. We guarantee our reverb times. If you're a church or a school and we do a big room for you and you want a specific reverb time, I'll guarantee it in writing for you. That's how serious we are about it. And that's how serious our technology is. You can go on the project page and see some of the projects we've done. Don't be misled by this marketing nonsense. I saw something the other day, uh, soundproof paint. Interesting. Here's a paint you put on your room, you know, keep noise out. <laughs> I mean, does that say it all? Jeez. So get all three parts of your music right, especially the low end. Work from the low end up because it's a third of the music. Hope this helps. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video. And if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to. So please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions and I usually get a chance every couple days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis. So that'll help you. Thank you.